What do you call that? A tutorial for Zexy. So, the goal is to beat area 3, which ends the, time, the timer ends at the flash screen when you exit the when you fly out to exit out and of uh, that show for stage for one. Well, during the uh, during the um, the re reveal when they say area three, from what I remember, the area three I was thinking stage five and six because I'm not sure if Shiny Dragoon, who is the world holder of this game, and I've been running that game as well, along with him. But, I couldn't even put my run in because of three reasons. One, my PB sucks. <laughs> and I'm trying to improve. Two, I was having a health issue. And I had to stop completely uh, for this game because the area 5 stressed me out and I was getting sick big time so there is a chance i will be getting back to this game to speed run and three um the screen the the view the beauty it was kind of let's say crap because everything that you see here is fine and clear but i was that was the time when i was using the laptop sitting over here back here with the old TV I had over here, facing this way. So, it was all blurry and everything. They can't see the timer and everything. So, that's the, that's the third reason why I didn't submit my run in the SRC. And my run was like pretty much like third, sub 38. And that was a terrible run that I had because one, stage, stage five, it was terrible in the most nightmare stage of all time and once you clear that and enter 5-2 everything everything easy and you can breathe through just fine but five area five is the most dangerous uh stage there. and i'm glad they clarify it and they meant stage clear stage three not area three but they call that as area three as the stage. But Shiny Dragon and I, we kind of, I think Shiny Dragon remembers it or probably didn't. We haven't talked about, but he heard, probably, he probably heard, heard me when I talk about it. That area one is stage one and two. Area two is stage three and four. Area four, three is stage five and six and so on and they're only they're like 11 level stages so that pretty much at five areas plus one stage so yeah now for the tutorial i love this game well before the, i start the tutorial i love this game i played the hell out of it when i was a kid and when I was living here in New York, but I played the hell out of it when I when a friend had this game. That's when I when I fell in love. Right after when I fell in love with Blaster Master, and it's from 1989. But the game, but some a friend of mine, a very old friend of mine, introduced it to me this game when I was 10. Blaster Master was I no wait. When was Blaster Master? I forgot what year was that that came out. But I was pretty sure that was always 10. Oh no, that Blaster Master is a Japan version. I want to see the, what year was it? 1988. So Black Master came out in 1989, I believe. So yeah, that one I would been introduced like when I was almost 10 years old. And Jesse, when I've been introduced to that from a different friend who introduced me to that game when I was 
already had before 1991. So, yeah. So I I fell in love with this game as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, it's really, really hard at first and it's really confusing at first because the second section of the stage is has a may it is a may that you have to traverse and find your way through to get to one section to get to the other side in the middle castle uh, uh mechanic castle and from there to find your way to get to the boss so there's gonna be a one straight shot and very straightforward uh, I will show everything. This, I will show everything with two sides: safe strat and risky strat. So be sure to be sure to pay attention to how it goes. And be, if you remember, you have to remember where the weapon, free weapon and free items and money. And the one certain area that you can go in just two times. If you enter three times, it's gone. Except the shop, except the, the shop. So I will show you in every place where they are along the way to get to there. So now, okay. Now from here, let me put um reset on game. From here. I'm gonna show you the the button right here. A is to put a jump. This is to short jump. B is to shoot. And left and right, and you can press up, and you can shoot upward. It's not gonna be the same speed as you normally shoot left and right. So, especially when you have a weapon, like say ball. They switch it right here. And it just change color, so you know the red one is the normal default weapon. Green one is the, is the weapon that you just got, what, what you just see right now is this, the ball. So keep in mind, if you have the weapon, you normally have that weapon, but if you push up, it's not. So keep that, keep that in mind. So you will have, so you won't, so you will be shooting a lot for this one and to be able to stay on it instead of shooting up by mistake. So down you can crouch and you can shoot as well. And that's about it. Oh yeah, start is pause and select nothing. So, and also jump. If you hold up and you jump by pressing A, you get the high jump, so you can jump higher than normal jump. Right now, I will go in every door you see. This door, it will introduce you what island you're in. So you really don't want it to go there, so it's not important to know where they are. Some few doors give you hands, some other door is shop and free stuff and bonus by a casino game so i wouldn't recommend going here bye bye <laughs> but yeah um that's pretty much it uh the other one is okay this is the one used for the ghost to hit the treasure by your head right here that's where we just went in which will give you free stuff weapon here, I believe it's free item. No, this will tell you what you. <coughs> excuse me. This will tell you what you need to do, what you need to do in order to get to the mechanic castle. But it didn't tell you how. Okay, now here, the L is mean that we store your health point. The E is the energy that they call it energy i don't know why they say so we see the e ball right there on the upper screen of a hood upper right screen that is the uh, currency e ball so 
here right now we're not gonna be worrying worrying be running through this and or anything like that way but to be safe uh as a safe shot to get through if you don't want to take too much risk or if you die you'll probably die a few times here and there I would suggest you to stock up at least 150 or 200 just at least to be safe or whatever until you get comfortable to get through it then you won't be needing that much of a currency and you can load it down um yeah so current so Ebo is the currency so the big square cost will give you five. The little one, the very tiny one, is gives you two. So I'm not sure if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. So pretty much it. This gives you the health point. So which is recovers a lot. So that gives you a big one. But and the little one is just give you just one bar. And this gives you three bars. Now, here it's your power. It just powers up your current weapon. Remember the, how short my the weapon was? It was very small range. If you powered it up, it cost money, of course. 20. Then, what it used to be, how short it was, it goes longer. And so you can be able to defeat the boss, which is right here. So, not now. Careful about the statue right here. If you see the blink red blinking eye, that means it's gonna shoot you. Okay, this right here is supposed to blink red as well. So I don't know why it's not blinking. That's another casino game. And it costs 10, so no need. And this will give you a free item, so you can flutter through. Oh wait, okay, that's the one that give you a hint, but it will not tell you which one, what, where it is, or which one it is. I forgot where the hit. Um, we're supposed to be around here. This is boss, you, mid boss. You don't want that. And ah, yeah, that one. <laughs> I. I still got computer, but this one give you a foot wing, which will give you to fly far if you match A. But yeah, once you get hit, you just lose it, you just lose it. So anyway, now let's get through this. Go here, jump, jump. Here, shoot, shoot, don't mash at all. Here, then you high jump, jump, shoot, shoot, and five time here. So if I shot, it all appears. So what you just said, or what the fairy just said, shoot the five that has this, five times or that has this, to find them. But I will show you where they are exactly. And you shoot five times, once you get to here, make sure you, what, if you shoot right here and you made it to here, make sure you hold forward. Now, there's a lot of risk, risk thing right here, with this thing right here. Uh, well, you know what? I will show you the uh, the safe star and the risk strat for that one. Alright, um, safe strap. If you want that, yes, you really want to buy that. You don't want the ball, so one, two, three, four, five. Here. Now, first step for this one is hop onto the first pillar and time yourself to jump and make sure you don't get hit, not get hit, or you will get knocked back and you will lose more time to time it to time it to get back up there. So. Here, we're gonna just shoot. You jump like that way. This is the safe strat. This is the safest strat there is, okay? So, that's all you need to do. Of course, if you got hit and knocked, got knocked over, 
It will give you plenty of time to hop up and shoot, but don't go, don't get too greedy. Make sure you get that. See, that's a problem. Then you're here, and you lose. And oh yeah, I forgot. You do lose a weapon. I completely forgot that. If you get hit, you lose the power. Oh no, actually, I didn't have lose. I buy it. Okay, never mind. I did not buy it. All right. I don't know how I got how, how I hit him. All right, there you go. <laughs> So make sure you time your stuff right there. Don't get good greedy about it. See? There you go. That's pretty much the safe strat you can go for. Make sure you... And you got the target key. But make sure you stand right here. If you get hit, you will get knocked back here. And don't, don't move forward again. So, and keep timing yourself, shooting at it. Anyway, the risky shot. Make sure you, you really want to have full health from here before going into before going into him. The way it is, you hop in the first pillar and high jump into the very right to his knees. And once you get to here, you really want to dive on top of the head. If you get it in, you. It will it will knock you out if it will knock you back, but going upward hit the ceiling and back in. So you will your feet will be landing on his shoulder into his face. And you want you have so used iframe, it has a very small uh, very small duration. So you need to be you need to hold you need to hold right after the knockback. So you will get to the right there to hit the wall. So, here it goes. Pretty much like that. Uh, high jump, high jump, and there you go. That's pretty much what you really want to do. Look at how look at how much of the HP that took out took out. It, that's a huge chunk of HP. But don't worry, since you have a life point there right next to it before you once you kill it, once you beat them, and once you exit out, just walk. Straight ahead, turn right immediately, hold right immediately after you exit out, and just don't jump. Just keep walking, and you will drop down because there's life right there, the li life help point there. So make sure you do that, and don't pick up the health point at all. So that's the life point there. So jump, high jump, high jump. And if that happened, yes, good. <laughs> so don't let that happen. Hi, hi. There you go. That's it. And now, to kill him, don't mash. Just hit rhythmically, fast but rhythmically, not mashing. If you mash, that's how you're doing. If you do it rhythmically, So rhythmically right here, just, 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 but that's pretty much, that's how you want to go fast, but you can match a little bit faster to shoot faster, so, let me do that, Oops. you really want to go fast, like, ta 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 ta, not mashing, but that path. If you hear the path, this is where how you want to hit, press the button rhythmically. So you can shoot that path. So if you don't, if, if you don't do that, you can't do this. But safe state right here and practice the rhythm, the rhythm, um, rhythm, and. Do it as much as possible. You can do that. You can shoot that fast in every mid boss like him, every in every odd number of stage, and you can get it down just easily. 
As long as you're close by, if you that close, there's a one pixel apart, you you can die. It has the the head is very huge. So that's pretty much how fast you can go for it. So after you're done with that, with the health one you have left, exit out and immediately immediately turn left. Oh yeah, I forgot. Before you jump drop down, make sure you jump first, then high jump over so you don't fall into the in the pocket or you lose the flight of a time. So make sure you don't do that. Make sure you don't fall in. Or high jump there. Yeah. I don't think. So do that way. And if you notice the star that I've given to you, it's a lot quicker than you standing right there in the safe spot. So you don't lose that much of a time. And you hold left, keep going, jump, jump, keep going. You have iframe, so you got more, full health, keep going, ignore those E's, keep going, pick up the health, high jump, normal jump, or high jump there if you can pop in one touch. High jump, high jump, and get in here. This is where you, this is the last door you want to go in twice to pick up more money. So which is, it gives you 20, so you will have 100. What, and whatever the extra uh, currency that you pick up on the way to there, you will have that much extra. So, if you think, like you said, safe way, like I said, safe way, try not to spend too much time. You can get E collecting by that, like, and that will you will have a little bit over than over the where you where you normally have in speed run. Oops. Normal jump and high jump, or normal jump, normal jump. Here, here's the E. You can walk back here if you want. Okay, now, after I'm going into the door here, just 40, so you will have 115 e -ball, which is enough. Go, go in again. Then, uh, um, layer one, two, you're in the mechanic uh, castle. So let me go straight forward to uh, the speed one I do. Uh, um, the work, how fast it is for speed run uh, risk, risky and speed run uh, oops safe start okay comparison for safe start and um, risk start so here we go That's the risk shot. Okay. Wow. Alright. Okay. Hop, hop. Let me do the safe stuff first. Oop. Oh yeah. Safe stuff. Ooh, wow. Okay. I held right for a reason because it just shifted over to now. That's weird. My, yeah, time for the new foot pedal. High jump. Here we go. 
Go hold the D-pad or it'll shift over to say no. There we go. Turn here. There we go. Okay, so I don't know what time was that, but you get the idea. So, I hate that thing. So, that pretty much is two minutes, a little over two minutes. So, that's pretty much how it is right there. I made a little mistake here and there, but that's okay. But that's usually around two minutes if you're taking a safe step from the But wrist shot So I should have a hundred. So there it is. 49, 49 seconds. So that's not pretty bad. It's pretty fast, but well, which is, okay, with the safe start, which is a little, o with a little over a minute and 20 seconds. So, okay, not two minutes, but yeah. So that's pretty much how fast you want to go. If you want to do risk, risk so much right there to defeat and getting behind it, I would suggest to do that way and practice that one. Right? If you want to, if you want to do that way, but safe start to where I showed you right there, down in the first pillar, a little bit to the edge, just in case you get knocked, just in case you get hit, you will get knocked back to the other edge and keep jumping and and timely jumping and you shoot. So that's pretty much what you want to do. So if you want to stay safe and not. If you, if you want to play safe and not get hit all over the place and doing the stage to get to in here. Anyway. Now. From here. First thing, when you see the E, tap where you want to go. I will show you where the other right there straight ahead. So, right here. Where, do you see that green dude? He was he was coming down and coming straight at you, and that the other one right there it was doing the sine wave, so don't high jump from it. I for stupidity I high jump I high jump by by accident, and without thinking I got hit by that uh, sine wave um, enemy. So make sure you don't high jump from the. This is where you want to go. So here. At the shop where you can buy weapon, but right now you only have the default weapon and the attack item. We have a different weapon, a default weapon, and the ball weapon, which is only for this island 45B ball. So it costs money, but you really don't want that. Through the speed one, you're gonna have to use default all the way through, but in the full game. You go all the way through till once you reach to the volcano, which is um, stage seven. That's where you're gonna pick up laser all the way through from the all the way through to the end. But here you're gonna be needing just default. You default is the only way that you can 
that would that would be good for the um, a hand beam. That would be good all the way to stage three, three into clear stage three. So anything else, you don't really need it. So yeah, you only have this and. And the other one right here is uh, Magic Feet, Foot Wing. That's the only thing. It will show, uh, although you will have, it will have it available to the stage, to the current stage and the stage you previously cleared. So that will be in the shop. So not much of it in the shop. And other than that, you really don't want that. Here's an E if you want some extra. Here's another one, it's the uh, information you want to know. It can cost money, of course. And that's about it in this area. And here, another one, information. It's giving you the information what, where, where the boss location, and where the shoot them up sections up so sometimes we give you other information that doesn't necessarily important so those three doors you've seen so far plus i will show you what's up there those are not really important you need to go to go through here the speed one of this oh dear this is really risky so you really want to jump here if you can but it's really risky to do that and I would suggest you not to. Make sure you push up when you're entering, when you jump in there, so you can get in. <laughs> yeah, you really don't want to do that. Okay, now from here, there's another spot right there. I forgot what it was. Probably another shop. Oh no, game mini game. So nah. So these are really not really important right now. You just go grab that E, get in that chute, and go in that door. Because in that section is gonna be the smut section. And once you get to here, it will cost money. So make sure you not to die. So make sure you not to die in the easy way to remember is to remember which door you need to go, and just remember where which door you need to take immediately in one go. If you took the wrong door, you will lose more time. If you die, you will lose more time and more money. So, which it cost, I believe, 20 or 30. That is, it cost 30. So, no, 20, sorry. It cost 20 EVO. So, the more you die, the more money you lose, more 20 currency. So, make sure not to die. So, I will show you how to get through it. Oh, and also, every shoot em up section and a shoot em up stage. Make sure to reduce the lag. Meaning, I will show you which one you need to kill to reduce the lag. Also, try not to shoot as much. So, the only thing that you can shoot as much, a little bit, is the shoot em up level only, which is area two. So, in this section, make sure you do not to shoot or spam too much. And I will show you the way how you can get in the door immediately without waiting till the door pops up. Just remember which enemy it will, which enemy coming to you know when to be when to hit in the end of a screen, and to know and if you know which door you need to go. So first stage in this section is always top and bottom. It's never changed. And to let you know. All the enemies and Bowser are set, no RNG at all. So keep that in mind. Now, here I go. Make sure you hit that right here so you can enter the door easily. Because if you're right here, you won't, you still enter. Fine. 
also don't lose so much health point or you will lose so much health point during the lose so much health in doing here sometimes if you enter you will hit like that it looks like you can enter just fine but there's a pixel lined up here even right there even if you're just a pixel above the line from the from the floor of the door it will bump into that so make sure your head is already hitting that bar slightly so you can enter just fine so make sure you do that now here just kill the enemy from below pick up always the rule basic rule of this game one speed two power that's it that's all you need <laughs> that's all you need if you pick up two speed you will fly like crazy well two or three speed you will fly crazy you will have barely con any control to stop before you hit that because once you do that way you're still gonna hit that you're still gonna hit the enemy because they move forward especially it's auto flow it's all the enemy that doesn't move also move that move goes in forward so make sure to pick up only one speed always that's the basic that's the basic rule of rule for this one especially all the shoot em up game too Depend depending on which shoot 'em up game you play, you always pick up one or two speed. Just to have just enough speed so you don't fly like crazy and ram into the wall or an enemy that kills instantly kill you or lose health, okay? So make make sure you do not to increase too much speed. Two power fine, just one speed, always. So keep shoot everything at the bottom. Now from here Go on top, pick up that power, bomb. I got hit. Now, from here, after that, this enemy right there, kill that, then get all the way on top and go all the way to the screen. All the way to the end of the screen. Because after that sine wave enemy, you will see the two things that we're trying to get together, right? If you see those, you will pass beyond that, and once they spawn, you're already behind them. So, it will not block you, so you will not lose so much health. So, go all the way top. Then, from here, these enemies will lag, will lag. So, make sure to, once you enter the door, once you hit the fall uh, in the screen, make sure you don't hold, <laughs> up, um, right, or... You will run into that, and they will explode, and they and it will lag lag a bit. You'll see. Notice the lag there. So you really want to kill though before they explode. Stay there and see. Do you really want to kill that? It's just one or two explodes. You really don't want that much power. So now go ahead and done. That's pretty much it. Make sure you kill them before they explode. You don't want to be near it because once you get near, they will explode immediately. So make sure you stay on that far of the end of the screen. So you can, so you have plenty of time to kill them. We just remember where they, where they are positioned. They don't spawn anywhere where you are at. So to top, down middle, to bottom, and that's it. The shift that spawns in, they spawn to where you to where you are at, and they zoom right at you. So they spawn right there. So go kill them as you knock yourself down. Make sure you kill the ship too, and make sure you not to get hit to take damage. So you have to have at least that much of a plenty, that much of a life that you see up in the HUD. That much of a life remains, so you can get through with grief after this. So. Anyway, so you know what to do right here in that screen. Make sure you see that enemy, kill that enemy, don't get close, 
or they'll explode and it would lag. So that the lag with this reduction to be able to save off more to save save off some time. So you don't lose so much frame for it. Then knock down here from here. If you don't have that much, if you lost so much life during that time, this don't worry, there's a life right there, right at, as soon as you exit. So pick that up just to regain three bars and rush through to the to the bathroom. Any any door that you see like this or the chute going down ignore or going up, ignore them. Nothing important there. Just one side is sharp, the other side and not important thing to go. So the important thing, get the life if your life is uh, less less than a half. Well less than a half you can get through it. But a lot less than that, below the below thirty or forty percent, pick that up. If you're if you don't if you're afraid if you think and you're afraid to you're gonna die. So basically we wanna do right here. Hit it up, get that and keep going. Ignore the truth, keep going, and there you go. That's the bathroom. And that's a good knockback. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so that's all it is. If you, if you have that many, plenty of life, best way to keep running through so you don't get that much. Uh, you don't get the knockback coming from. So you won't get that knockback. You will hit yourself in that wall and that block above you. So you don't get pushed far back and lose that much of a frame. So that's pretty much it. You don't lose that much of a health point anyway. One bar. I'm stupid. Here, one bar. Jump, no more. Jump, high jump, high jump, and jump in. That's it. Easy, easy, easy peasy to get through it. So, and keep in mind, every single, every single boss of area one and three, five, all those bosses. Once you get to the bu once you get to the king room before the bathroom, once you land on this, once you jump on top of that, your li your health point will be restored fully, always. So don't worry about picking up so much of a health point in that section before it, before it reach you to the king room, because it's always help always fills your life fills your life completely so don't get like oh i need that life so i don't die no just keep going you'll be fine and get and get on that and you're you're fine all the way through to fight the ball three two you might want to help point there because there's so many things that will throw at you and i'll and you'll see why when we get there anyway so from here, this boss is very simple. The only bar, the only gun you have is the default. So which is you will be able to kill it. Remember, tap, shoot like that on the boss, and get as close as possible you can. So boss will go once you come in. The boss will go up first. So be above, be above it. Then don't go way too high. I will show you. Keep shooting. First thing I right here is keep mass shooting before he comes into the screen because he takes damage when he set himself up. Then you want to be that high. So you don't get, because this, you see the little box right there, that's where he shoots. So you want to be very above here. There it is. So sh keep shooting as you go up. When the second floor of a shoot, get down. And he will, uh, he will reach to the point to the top and going down and keep staying on the bottom side. So just watch how I position, position it. Oh shoot. Pay attention to where how I position them. Position him. Oh 
Oh wait, one shoot, not two two wave. Don't worry about the ad. Three three ad hitting you, you'll be fine. You have plenty of life right there. So make sure you do that way. That's pretty much easy to kill. Hit by the ad, get shot, and get hit by the ad, so you'll be able to kill him easily that way. Ad, shot, ad. So that's the faster way to kill him. To kill him. So don't don't worry. So don't get too worried about that. You really don't need the 45 B ball, and. All the power, all the non-important power from the until volcano, which we're not going to be there. So that's pretty much you want to be do. And very simple boss to be. It's just up and down. The stage three, area three, or stage three boss. I wish I have a YouTube right there that I made long time ago. I'm have to apologize in advance. You will see how blurry, how <laughs> bad it is. Because that's one of the reasons why I was planning before I started the tutorial. That. So, anyway. Three times. One, two, and three. That's it. Here. And from here. You don't want to walk around right there. You can jump through that wall, through that floor. So all you need to do is jump normal. And done. Save so much time right here. Now, this is the shoot em up, this is the shoot em up section right now. So make sure not to shoot too much. Well, you can shoot a little bit too fast, but shoot only, get the, shoot every enemy possible that you can sh kill to reduce um, as much redu lag redu to reduce as much lag that you, as you can which is pretty impossible but you can and two things two important things that you really want to kill as fast as possible before it hurts you it hurts you because they do big damage so and the other section for me right there I'm going to show you the most easy way and to ignore and not pay attention to those enemy before when it, when the screen go, speeds up that means you're getting to the bar so i'm going to show you the back section that to dodge and where you want to go uh, and not worry about killing the enemy because the screen the screen scrolling will speed up so you will not lose that much of a um lose of a frame for due to the lag because uh, that cancel out all the lag. So here it is. Did I save state? Yeah. So here you go. I'll shoot one again. One speed and two power. Kill, kill all the enemy as much as possible you can. Kill that. Kill, okay, you really want to kill that uh, ASAP. Kill that too. Kill that. That one right here, if you do not kill it and it stays on screen, it will make the red flash. Each time when they make the red flash, you lose tons of HP. So make sure you kill that ASAP. So now it's getting dark, meaning you're equipped. From here, you really want to start from the bottom because the enemy that will explode come from the top. Then immediately the other one comes up from the bottom. So you want to go up. After that pass, go down. 
more enemy coming right there then go back up enemy coming from below then go back down the last enemy that will come that will fly by exploding and boss time so i will show you how uh not now i'm not gonna sit there here but i'm gonna say gonna go through that again so Kill all the enemy as possible I can. I said the rules, only one speed and one two power power. By the way, the bomb does color of damage than shooting, so using so using matching both buttons on the bar it can kill it a lot faster so do you really want to do that okay now you get the idea now now you get the idea how it works. One speed, two power right there. If you want to go two power, that's fine. Do that. But learn how to make sure to get used to to that speed so you can be ahead of a time and ahead of a frame. So anyway, here it is. This is the one I'm talking about right now. The enemy is going to be top, bottom, top, bottom, top, and that's it. And you have to go down, up, down, up, down. So, down, you'll be safe from here, then move up, then go back down, I got hit, so that's fine. You really want to have full health as much as possible. That's about it. That's pretty much it. You really want to do that. With the two with the two speed, the one I just went through between, I can get down there just fine. I do that. That's me. <laughs> That's me. But you can do that too if you want to. Two speed, two power. But I suggest one speed and two power and do with the way how I go through. Just to be safe. So you don't lose so much HP. Because hitting that platform that's right above me. Hitting that it would take tons of damage. And if they and if you did not evade them and the shrapnel, it would take that not that much of a damage, but it takes damage along with it. So as long as you can dodge everything and maneuver and remember when to dodge and where to where to go through before going down or up, you're golden. Full health and you have full health before the bar, you're golden. So, because you're gonna be taking damage boost and mashing, mashing as you step, as you start kiting. You'll see what I'm talking about. I have that much health point where you see. That's plenty of health point. If you can get through it with full health, you're, you're good, you're golden. So that's all you need to do, just smash, 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 both buttons, bomb and the shooting. Because bomb does a lot about damage, plus the two shooting is chipped chip down a lot. Uh, the bomb takes chunk of the damage on him. So do that. Hit both buttons out of all the way, so that should be fine. You notice how much of a damage I took because I was, because I got hit by him, not the the shoot that was well, she's shooting. So be careful, be be mindful of that. Always be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. If you take damage, you can go in and in and out because you don't have that much of a farm. Now, 3-1.
You're gonna love this taste so much that will sometimes can scrape your hair off. Uh, if you don't, if you're shaving bald, you tell you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but still, you're gonna enjoy a lot of them on the box, which I will show you soon. Once we reach, once we reach the this part right here, I don't know how to make it a safe strat, but the safe strat you can go. I will show you everything. Where the where is the star key? So the star key is a very very last block, two block, which is is right there, close to where the mechanical door where you enter. So it's right there, well slightly right there, but right before that. So that's all you need to know. So keep going, moving forward. Jump. Okay. That enemy right there, they hop if you get if you're near. Even if you're near coming towards you, they will hop over you. So you won't take no any damage. Now, you wanna walk along a little bit and stop for a few seconds till he stops until he's on the floor and walk along with it and shoot. Kill it. Because if you keep walking, it will hop over that little block where I just jumped over. It will hop over and keep going on the screen. <laughs> And it will be hard for you to kill it because there are more enemies coming into coming into, and you have to dodge all those. So that's kind of that's one of the things. This bug right there it uh, distracts you from all the enemy, distracting you trying to kill that and from other enemies that are coming on the way that you have to dodge. So be mindful, just keep in mind that you keep going, stop. Okay, web caught you. See how it stops right here? So you want to get that, you want to kill that. Here, jump, here, stop. See what I mean? You really want to kill that before that wasp comes in. Which is pretty hard to do. There we go. You gotta wait till he come down so you can jump over. He shoots out of his butt too. Jump, jump right here, get that energy. Jump, jump, jump. Get that energy too. Jump, don't jump, high jump. Don't jump. Here we go, keep going. Pick up that life. Okay, from here. After that block, you see, after that door uh, up there and the door on the trunk, when you see that block, the last sort of a block coming up. So that's the one you want to shoot because after that, you'll get, you will hit the door where, to enter the castle. So. Get that? Okay, I will go through that once more. We already know what to do right here, so... You really keep going moving forward. Take a little damage as possible you can. And you're golden. <laughs> now here, this is gonna be a little longer than what you did from the first one of, of him. So it'll be a little bit longer, but if you can keep doing the rhythm, you will kill him in no time. Nope, bad. Make sure you practice that. That's bad. There you go. Turn right, jump, and there we go. 
like I said, that's a block right there. Once you get that block and get the four star, you're right there. So you're done in that part. So yeah, keep in mind, ignore as much enemy as possible you can and uh, just a little hit there and there and there and you're good. You're fine because the life is going to be right there on the way to here on that fourth to get the fourth star. And you will see the little helicopter right there coming from um in the left side of the screen halfway so if you keep going it'll stay there if you stop or bump into it it will come in further in and once you hit that and get the door right there they will come right on top of you and come sideways going down onto you and leave so make sure not to let that happen so keep that keep that in mind now since okay again the health point you have plenty of life point right there to get to the smut section. So you will have a life um, re um, repl replenishing on the way. So make sure. Uh, here we go. You will see two tanks coming into you. In this path, middle, middle, always. No, middle, jump in middle and get on the top, always, to get to the cinema section part. High jump, high jump, you get knocked. Sometimes you're not lucky that way. Get that life point, high jump, and get over here, kill that. And, smoke section. That's all you need to know. Sometimes it goes slow, sometimes it goes fast. That's pretty much it, what you want to do. High jump. There you go. Uh, I don't know why it didn't jump there. You will be fine right here because it's not going to hit you. I don't know why it's not jumping. Sometimes it eats your input for no reason. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's it. Notice the currency I have? 97. I have plenty. So, this part right here is going to be slightly difficult than the first one. And, than the first one. So, be mindful. And there will be new enemies. There will be new enemies that you'll be seeing. So, make sure to remember where they are. Um... Now there were not, there were no uh, lagging, uh, explosion, explosive lag, and the only ball. So take out the ball. Those are the one that lag. So you really wanted to get that, the purple ball. I'm talking about head. There you go. So purple ball that you want to really, really want to get rid of. One speed, two power. I'm picking two feet up because I like to take work. Okay, and once you see the sine wave, the first door is going to be bottom. The next section, bottom of the, as well. Two bottom doors. Alright. So yeah, I keep forgetting about that. That's very weird because that's not supposed to be all the way down. It's supposed to be where that face that reason why there's something that lag a bit that can despawn that and not spawn in this one in the very last so it shouldn't be doing that so yeah I'm not worried about that. Okay, now that's much better. Okay, that's what you're supposed to be doing. I 
I took damage. So we go. Then bottom door. Then here. These guys you really want to take it out as much as possible as you can. Because once they come to you right there from that space, it will back up and zoom right into you. So take them out as fast as possible as you can. These enemies will stop at the point where where you are and come move forward. It's them that you want to take out, not these guys. Now bottom again, and there you go. <laughs> they come at you from behind your butt too. Now oh, there's right here. There you go. Simple as that. Now here, I was trying to remember. Oh yeah, two heads will be bouncing. The the grenade guy is coming from below. So you want to hop on that platform to go over under those bouncy bouncy heads. So you will not get hit from them. You just run right under them. Uh, then drop down. Um, middle path. Drop a middle path again, then from that to last one or two head, that you jump again in the middle, third time. Careful with the bug, they will fly, they will, start, they will fly towards you, then go upward or downward, depending on what height they are at. Because they're on the bottom top side, they will come down to you then go up that way if they're coming below they come to you there then go down so or up depending on how depending on the pixel line they step above the line or below the middle so be, be careful of that so i will show you from there so here oh, jump here under under keep going under that's fine there's the bug You really want to hold that right here. I don't know what... I don't know why I high jump from the... So, you get the idea. So, keep going like this way. Mm. High jump from there to get up there. Under, 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 under. Here, here, then done. Then your health will be restored from here. So that's pretty much simple how it goes. Done. Now from here, before we go to the boss fight, boss fight here. Oh yeah, we told your health point. I already explained that. Okay, before we're gonna go right here, I'm gonna show you and explain to you from here. You can see how play it is. <laughs> anyway, where am I? Let me... My camera is way up here for some reason it doesn't want to. I can't move it I wish I could move him
Okay, give me give me a second. Really quick. Here we go. Here it is. Alright, here we go. See those right there? Okay. I believe. Okay, you can see the mouth. Alright, see those right here? This, this is the part where we're gonna be fighting. So, the letter is the, letter is the direction where the boss is going. So, as soon as he comes in, he will like he will stop here and goes up first, first thing. Then from A, point A he will go down to point B. That how far he goes. He will not get well, kind of, but he will not go that far. So A to B to B to C and down to D and back right here. It will keep repeating that every single time. So it almost like an eight, uh, going eight for the hourglass shape. So that's pretty much you need to know the direction you, you have to pay attention to know where to go to follow along with them. Uh, number, those numbers, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, those number is where he's gonna be shooting at you. So as soon as he goes up, that's where the eyeball he will shoot. As soon as this hit the point and going down, and when when you go up and shoot and go down, he will shoot going down. So it will shoot. Uh, then there would be a little slight little slight delay from three. If he shoot by upward before hitting the point, hitting the corner, hitting the eight corner, that means he gonna shoot by curve. If he shoot and come down and shoot coming down that way toward to B, that means he gonna shoot when you're going straight up. So there are two things that you have to watch out for in number three in the number three eyeball shooting. So pay attention to how it goes. If he sh if he come right here and shoot going up then going down, it's this one. If he shoot he goes up and shoot as he going down, it's this one. So there are two thing, two different things for that one. Then to number, then there will be a de from three either that. Then there will be a long delay. Once he reach to the C and going down, which is number four here, it will he will shoot by going di down diagonally. Then more delay. And you come up here, come down, and number five here. As he goes, as he goes midway, he will shoot at you midway, going up. Then going back here, more delay, corner, uh, looping corner up, and shoot. So this is the, how the pattern goes. The pattern keeps going immediately, repeating. And number six, it will start back to number one again, and repeat the same way. So except this one, depend how it out. Uh, alternately, do the number two. Uh, shoot, it's alternately gonna be either of those two, depending on how it goes from number two to number to to t to know and read ahead of a time in number three. So be patient to that. So look at how I ran through. You only want one or two, or three, two or three hit. No, three or almost at least four. Three is normally is fine, but four is fine as well. But keep in mind. Don't hit more than four. <laughs> if you get hit more than four, there's a, it's, it's nigh to be able to survive. And you have to back out to shoot in the safe distance. But with this one here, you have to be up close. I don't, there is a safe trap for that one. I have to find a way right there, but you really don't need to do that. Just practice that kind of pace and you'll be fine. If you if you keep practicing, you'll be fine as long as, because you have full health point before start, before attack before fighting this boss. So safe day before going into the room and set yourself up right there and practice there as much as possible you can because that's the only strat that you can only strat to kill him fast because 
Doing the safe that will take a lot longer to be able to kill that boss. So, here is what it looks like. And you will see how it goes, the way how it shoots in the pattern. Oh, he comes on the top, I forgot. Not in the middle. That's pretty much how the pattern goes. So I don't know how many hits I have take I've taken. So that would be four. So, but if you get four, three hits, then you're golden. One hit. Two hit. Accidental three hit. Oh no, that's the oh, okay. Three hit. That's really good right there. So this is pretty much you want. This is pretty much how it works. So you really want to do that. <laughs> so now, now we can do that. Now let's do what we can go for. All right, here we go. It's just pretty simple. The pattern never changed except. The number two and number three, but it never it changed a bit, but the pattern never changed. And pay attention to number two and number three, how it, where it shoots. Keep in mind, if you go up and shoot and before going curve, that means the number three will hit the corner going up and shoot. If you go up and corner, if the number two go up and up in the corner and, and shoot downward. That means the number three will shoot, once it hit there, it will shoot on the way up. So keep in mind about that. So here we go. So from here, be right here. Right. At least right here. That's pretty much it you want to do. It's very simple. It's not that hard. Three here. One more. Done. Here. Jump. And here. And split. Done. That's pretty much it for the tutorial for now. If you have any questions about this game and all that, if you want me to, uh, if you want me to show you the safe strat, uh, one area I can find a safe the safe stuff for you if you have any question if we have any question of the issue that you having so just let me know find me if you see me streaming uh, or message me on discord if I get a chance and notice if I can hear the beeping sound but which I cannot hear uh, so yeah if you have any question about this game, I'm hoping I'm probably gonna be get back on be, get back on this game to do a full game of it to speed run to put myself in speedrun.com, and which is now my health is a lot better, so I'll be able to get back over here and less stress. So I should be able to run now, which I, with a better computer that I have for three four years three years ago. So I should be able to stream it uh, with a with better view of the timer. So yeah, ask me any question about this game, any or if you want any knowledge about this game, let me know. Come to me, or if you if you're lucky to find Shiny Dragoon, if he's ever around, ask him if he's available or around. If he's around. So yeah, uh, pretty much any questions about this game so hope that this will be i uh, hope that will be helpful for you for you guys and thank you for enjoying the, the tutorial and also again 
ask any question and I will I will try to answer that uh, question and and I will help you to find the safe uh, the safe shot. So inform and let me know and I will help. Thank you for watching. Uh, watching and.